Как вы не раз уже могли увидеть на нашем канале, в истории М1 было немало колоритных бойцов, шоуменов и одиозных личностей. Но когда сразу два ярких персонажа встречались в поединке, этот бой тут же приобретал огромный интерес и повышенные ожидания со стороны зрителей. На турнире Ямон Челлендж 83, который прошел 23 сентября 2017 года в Казани, состоялся бой двух невероятно талантливых и очень неординарных бойцов полулегкого дивизиона. Чемпион организации 3FC, американец Нейт Ландвер, являлся во всех смыслах дерзким бойцом. Он превосходно владел искусством трэштока, устраивал из своих выходов шоу, предпочитал старое доброе рубилово с открытым забралом всем остальным стилем ведения боя. Как только он выходил в ринг или в клетку, в ней начиналась буря. На его счету было 5 побед нокаутом из 8, и 4 года назад американец впервые отправился в Россию, чтобы по его собственным словам вырубить каждого, кто встанет на пути к поясу. А там его уже поджидал не менее харизматичный и яркий соперник. Михаил Коробков из Рязанского клуба Арта всегда был очень талантливым и универсальным бойцом, который предпочитал не доводить дело до решения судей. При этом и вне ринга он всегда был готов дать выход своей бьющей ключом энергии. Что характерно, ни для Нейта, ни для Михаила их подчас неординарные поступки и шумное поведение, как и стремление зарубиться кость в кость с любым оппонентом в любой жизненной плоскости, не было каким-то придуманным образом, а скорее являлось стилем жизни. И поэтому эти двое как нельзя лучше подходили друг к другу, чтобы устроить нечто крутое и безумное прямо в рейдже. Очень классный парень, интересный, красивый, еще у него очень классная прическа. Быть может, в будущем я отращу волосы и тоже сделаю себе что-нибудь подобное. Но надеюсь, что сначала он меня удивит ей, а потом посмотрим. Ну, сравню свой предыдущий бой с китайцем и с американцем. С кем проще? А честно, по барабану. Tonight in front of thousands of fans, Mihail, you will go to sleep. I hope you got your blanket. I hope we got your pillow. Your reign is over. All the fun is done for you. Nate, ты конечно поезд, но технологии ушли уже далеко вперед, а ты все ездишь на дровах, ё моё. Time to go back to Ian, the machine, Freeman, who's in the ring. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the featherweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner, 
This fighter is 29 years old. He weighed in at 65.5 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a record of eight wins and two losses. He is the 3FC champion. From the United States of America, please welcome Nate the Train Landwehr. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 65.2 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a professional record of 13 wins, two losses with one draw. He is regional grappling champion, silver medalist of the regional MMA championship and master of sport in combat sambo, representing Arta team and Sesh Pro team, Mikhail Karabkov. And the referee for this bout, Vazislav Kishilov. Fighters, sir. Okay, you know rules. Three rounds, five minutes. Listen my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Dutch gloves. Back in place. In the featherweight division, Nate Landwehr of the United States versus Mikhail Korobkov of Russia. Судья, 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 время. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Round number one. Black trunks for Landwehr, blue trunks for Korobkov. Well, Landwehr's fired up, there's no denying that. Sometimes that can go against you. He could rush in a few things and get tagged, but it seems to be nice and calm here now. Low kick from Landwehr. Oh, he's just fired up, definitely, to go against the home Russian guy. Korobkov checking that low kick. Oh, a nice low kick again, buckled the leg. Korobkov immediately to the inside. Korobkov closes the, the distance. Nice turn by Landwehr. Korobkov as well as a striker, he, he likes the punch, so closing the gap, maybe he's just making Landwehr think a little bit. Landwehr missing with that low kick. Korobkov to the inside. Korobkov goes for an outside triple, miss it, it, tags him on the way out. And it's very high for Mihail Korobkov, misses with that overhand right. Oh, not with that one, no, not with that one. Turn that over, flush. Faint with the right hand from Landwehr. Again. Outside kick from Korobkov. Look at the welt on the leg already of Landwehr. There's the outside trip again, he gets he it. Hits it. Gorgeous, right into side control. Now let's see what wrestling Landwehr has. No fighter likes to be on the back, but I'm sure he's drilled this. Mush pushes into half guard, full guard now, butterfly. Half butterfly for Landwehr. He tried for a sweep there. Trying to sit up and through. Good work by Landwehr, and again with that trip. But back this to his time is mounted. Needs to push the leg through. There he goes, pushing it through, trying to get full mount. Back in the half guard. And we're again sitting up, sitting up into the guillotine. Needs to be careful. No real commitment to the guillotine. Just holding the head. Landwehr's doing well to get back to his feet, but he's going to get tagged in that guillotine again. Does well to avoid it. Now he tries to turn the corner. Landwehr's again, a guillotine. Landwehr driving oh, through. Good left hand. hand. Oh, and a knee. Jump knee from Landwehr. Oh, Cannon oh, knee from knee Karabkov. Back. And again, Karabkov hitting the takedown. Wow. To 20 remaining round number one. Just when you think Landwehr turned around, he gets caught with a knee on the way in. Landwehr again. Working off of his back, out of half guard. Robkoff on a guillotine. Yeah, he's trying to work it. Really a head chancery position at this point. A little he more commitment. Over, if he steps over, it's good night. Don't let him step over. He's managed to get an arm in, which is a lot safer. He can drop the elbow down to stop the full guillotine. Now it's, now it's a full-on guillotine. Yeah, this is good night. 
A lot of squeeze now from Karabkov. Karabkov just going to push his hips forward and he's going to go out. Yatislav Kiselov taking a close oh, look. Oh, great work. Landwehr pops his head free. Well defended by Nate Landwehr. Well, I thought it was game over because that was the perfect standard guillotine there. You see the repositioning by Vyacheslav Kiselev. Uppercut from Landwehr with the right hand. Korobkov likes to use that trip takedown every time. Oh, nice uppercut again. But he gets caught with a single. Single in the takedown, hit by Korobkov. Yeah, he ran the pipe, manages to get the takedown quite easy there. We're throwing up his legs. Yeah, try, try for a guillotine, but Kropkov felt it. Kropkov could not pass in the side control. Don't fight the head. Well, at least Landwehr now knows he can rock Kropkov. He'll try for a guillotine again, and just needs to free that leg. Open guard now for Landwehr. Kropkov trying to go to work with his ground and pound based wide on his knees. Left to the head, or left to the body, then left to the head. Try to go elbow, hand, hip, try to get back to his feet. Kiselev warning Landwehr, reaching on the ropes to try to elevate. Again, he's trying to push through. He's going to try and put the arm over the top of the leg and then try for a triangle, but Korobkov stands up. Korobkov trying to stay heavy, now trying to pass. Can't do so. There's the triangle attempt. He's got it, he's locked it up. He's got five seconds to finish it, John. It's very, very close and it's tight. Very tight on the oh. triangle. The goal the end of round one. But real trouble for Mikhail Karabkov in the closing seconds of the Karabkov opening round. Karabkov just collapsed on the canvas there. He is absolutely exhausted. Well, albeit that Landwehr was in trouble, he now knows he can rock Karabkov and he now knows that he can submit him. See the right hand, the left and the right on the ear, taking out the balance of Nate Landwehr. Krupkov hitting four takedowns in the opening round. Landwehr fighting through it, locking on the triangle in the closing seconds of the opening round. Krupkov not escaping, but the going to end the opening round. Set for round number two. Second down, out. Second out called by Vyacheslav Kiselev. Tight. Slight cut on the bridge of Landwehr's nose. Second round, ready, fight! Round number two. Storms to the center of the rage. There's Landwehr. And we're working oh. off the jab, right hand. Nice right hand down the pipe, but he got tagged on the way in as well. One, two misses from Landwehr. Landwehr's come out with a different venom here. Korobkov throwing the deep low kick, counter outside kick from Mihail Korobkov. Oh, shh. You, you, you watch this fight and you think it's just a matter of whoever attacks first. Kick caught, nicely rolled out by Korobkov. Should have threw a knee there, Landwehr. Landwehr could not take advantage of that positional advantage. Looking for the throw that time, it did not work from Krokov. Ah. That time it does! Yeah, he ran onto him. Big. He got suck it into that. Fishing for the guillotine again is Mikhail Korobkov. Not going to get it from that position. Landwehr needs to peel that hand off. Push it to the opposite side of the head so that when he stands up he doesn't get guillotined. But luckily he's out of it. Oh, big right, big right hand! hand. And again, Another right hand, overhand right from Korobkov. The first really rocked Landwehr. You saw him circle off of his striking line. Oh, knee to the head. Right hand misses from Landwehr. The turn that Korobkov running oh, away. He dropped it. He left he hand. Feet. Oh my word! Oh, he's out. Can't he's drop. out. He knocks him out. And that oh, is my it. Word. What a finish! He came full of enthusiasm. He got rocked himself. He got nearly submitted. And then he finished him with a knockout. Oh my word. An almost surreal ending sequence. 
Landwehr eating two massive right hands and all sorts of trouble. Then Karabkov running away, dropped by Landwehr and then finished. I think this will be ruled as a knockout, not a TKO, because Karabkov was slept at the end of round two. They show a sportsmanship from both fighters. Clarksville, stand up! Night to try! Side B, stand up! Mama! Baby! Everybody, Pimper! What's up? What? The train has arrived! Well, there are M1 Challenge debuts, and then there are M1 Challenge debuts, and then there's the debut of Nate Landwehr. That was memorable. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. After one minute, 31 seconds of round two, we have a winner by the way of knockout, Nate, the train, Landwa. As I thought Nate, it was, everybody, please. a knockout I'm here is with the your ruling. Winner, Nate, the train, Landwa. Wow, what a to and fro battle. He caught you a couple of times. Did you feel in any danger during that fight? Nate, what a incredible boy. Did you feel at least at one moment in danger? Hey, I'm a bad, bad man. If I ain't done, if I'm in it, if I'm still breathing, you ain't got a shot, baby. Nate the Train, Kalistan, I love you, baby. Yeah, Lavu, Russia. Я настоящий мужик и я делюсь до самого конца, до тех пор, пока я дышу, я не сдамся и я всегда выиграю. Спасибо, Россия. Ladies and gentlemen, a big fire up, Nate, the train, 